All right, so here we're covering your options and different tactics when you're carrying the puck into the offensive zone. So if you're leading the line rush carrying the puck, all right, these are some options and some tactics for you. So first and foremost, the number one mistake that I see players making is that they skate right at that defenseman, making it very easy for them to make the play and they try to beat, beat them one-on-one -on -one by skating through them. And what I mean by through them is that you're trying to pull the puck in between their legs or under their stick. Now you see the best players in the NHL hardly ever try this move because it's very low percentage move. Now maybe the top players will do it once in a while if they see a defenseman being exposed, at, but they're so good that they're able to pick up. Is that defenseman speed too slow? Is his angle wrong? Is he you know, opening up his hips the wrong way? Is he too far leaned forward so they're just able to detect that weakness in the defenseman's play and they hardly ever try it so it's very important to understand that these are the best players in the world and they hardly do it and yet you know a lot of forwards and midgets juniors are trying it all the time so it's one of the most low percentages plays that you can make very rarely want to make it typically it's okay to beat that defenseman but you want to beat him with a high percentage play all right so what are your options here Obviously on line rushes, you want to read the situation. So if it's a two on one or if it's a three on two, great. You know, you're carrying the puck into the zone. You want to be able to make that play to the open player. So you want to ex find out what the open play is and make the play in an odd man rush situation. All right, but if you're carrying it in and it's an even man situation, so it's a one on one or a two on one, or sorry, a one on one or a two on two or a three on three, all right? <clears throat> Here you want to be able to make a play for yourself. You want to be able to create time and space. And so <clears throat> in our deception video, we talked about some different opportunities. We'll go over a couple of those real quick. The key is, obviously you want to show the defenseman a play that you're not planning on making. So you want to sell them one thing while you're planning on doing the other thing. So if you want to cut to the middle, maybe you're going to accelerate with a speed burst wide here to get that defenseman to open up and then you're going to cut back to the middle. All right. If you're planning on beating that defenseman wide, okay, maybe you want to take a loop like you're going to cut to the middle, get them to anticipate and come in, and then when you get into this area, boom, you're going to bounce back out wide there, all right? So you're always going to sell the play and really oversell it. That's the key is really oversell it. Oversell it with your body. Get your body language and everything to oversell it. Hold on to that move just for an extra split second to really sell it, all right? You know, another option here is <clears throat> faking a shot so you're coming in the zone here and you know bringing pulling that puck back and just holding that shot holding that fake and getting that defenseman to bring his legs together to stand up straight or maybe drop a knee and that's when you know you're either going to beat him wide or beat him to the inside with speed so changing your speed going from fast to slow or slow to fast or even back again so you know in a situation where you're maybe faking like you're going to bring the puck to the middle okay here you're going to go Coming in, you're going to really slow down and then bring it to the middle. Then you're going to accelerate back out wide and bounce that puck out wide. But the key with all these plays is you're not trying to beat that defenseman through him. Yes, you're, tr you're going to beat him one-on-one -on -one to create time and space, but you're not beating through him. Now, a couple opportunities to get good quality shots on net. All right. So here, attacking wide here, getting that defenseman to open up, slamming on the brakes just literally just slamming on the brakes and then firing a wrist shot all in one motion, okay? So wide, slam on the brakes, fire in a wrist shot. Another opportunity as a forward, okay? Especially if you're coming in here and you're on your, uh, you're on your forehand side, so if you're not on your offside, okay? Coming in, being deceptive, break it out wide, defenseman rolls with you, okay, so here, in this situation, if you're on your forehand side, you're a lefty, just slide that puck here through the defenseman's stick and then just reach over and shoot. So you're just going to slide that puck and reach over and shoot. So instead of carrying the puck all the way to the front of the net, which more than likely you're going to get, you know, you're going to get the puck poke checked away, you're going to get knocked off the puck, you're just going to slide it under his stick and then reach over and reach with your body and shoot the, and get to the puck and shoot a backhand shot there. So if you're a lefty, you're sliding it, then you're reaching over with your backhand and shooting. Now the advantage is if he pulls you down here, you don't have the puck, so it's an interference call. 
All right, so here, you're sliding under. It's a one-on-one -on -one puck battle. You just need to beat him to that puck, and you're just using your body and using your reach to slide it under and shoot. So the idea here is you're attacking the offensive zone. You're creating scoring opportunities for yourself and shots for yourself, but you can also come wide, pull up, hit a third guy high, okay? You can fake to the middle, bounce out wide, and you can hit a guy coming into this area, uh, one of your trailers coming into this area here. Bring the puck into the front of the net. Okay, so your options are endless once you get and learn, you know, how to make plays on those defensemen when you're attacking the offensive zone. So practice those plays, practice being deceptive and going through them over and over again, understanding how to read the defensemen, read their feet, read their stick, and you're just going to get better and better at it. So that's how you attack the zone and create offensive opportunities and scoring opportunities in even man rush situations. So one on one, two on two, three on three, or even isolating a defender in a one-on-two or isolating a defender in a two-on-three, okay? So that's how you create scoring opportunities in those situations.